and a heartfelt namaste. I, Anuradha, would like to thank all of you for subscribing to my Spotify and YouTube channels both. If you haven't subscribed to my Spotify channel, please do so that you can listen to the audios of all the videos anytime, anywhere. Today, we are going to talk about various planets in the fourth house. The fourth house is a planet, is a house that is generally people take it as an abstract house because it shows uh, more of things which are abstract than tangible. Mother's love, mother's emotions, uh, emotions attached to others, the security of our family, our happiness, contentment, the amount of knowledge that we can take, our interest in the occult, the deep knowledge that we go for, the contentment that we feel from many things around us, and the, the sense of well-being that we have within us, all are intangible, but very essential to life. Otherwise, life would become very robotic, very methodical. So the fourth house harbors a lot of soft feelings. Yes, the tangibles that come along with the fourth house are the real estate, a beautiful home to live in, your bank balance, the amount of money that you have in your bank. It also shows your your affluence to a certain level. So yes, these are also very important. It shows the uh, the level of work your spouse can also do. Yes, this is chart rotation. And it also gives you a fair amount of idea as to what or who your spouse would be working with. So let us uh, take up one by one what the fourth house can show us. And what happens when planets in the fourth house uh, what 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 do different planets as sitting in fourth house give a result at? So first and foremost, the fourth house talks about your mother, and it also talks talks about your home and hearth. It talks about the real estate that one wants to acquire. Everybody wants a piece of land to live. So that is your fourth house. It talks in great detail about the emotions that you feel and different planets. If it is Mercury sitting there, you are intellectually uh, emotional about things. If it's Jupiter, you're you're more emotional uh, about your knowledge or rather you're more emotional about um, the work that you are, uh, the happiness and the occult that you're following. Or if, because it's a moksha house, you're more interested in knowing more about your Ishtadevta. So all these things, um, yeah. it will differ when planet there is different. Fourth house talks about your security issues and fourth house is happiness. Fourth house is contentment. However, since it's one of the moksha houses and it is said that cancer took in all the elderlies also. So it is uh, the death that we face is also shown by the fourth house also. And death means death not only of a person, but any, any matter of your life. So fourth house represents the end of matters of our lives and planets sitting there tell you what kind of end of matter it would be or for that matter the planet transiting through that time gives a fair indication as to which what in life is going to be over as i told you earlier fourth house is the work of spouse so now let us talk about the planets placed here uh, sun in the fourth house it talks about your security issues. Such a person is very vigilant about the security of the house. Such a person is very vigilant about the emotional health and well-being of the house. However, if there is a malefic influence on this son, then such a son becomes very tranquil, and, and such a son tries to control the family members, can cause dissent in the family members also. So when we talk about moon, in the fourth house. Moon in the fourth house becomes strong, becomes digbali. Such a moon is capable of not only sharing love of your mother, not only becoming mother's pet, but it also shows your ability to connect with the masses. The fourth house also talks about the masses. Your ability to emotionally impact people around you also is seen by the fourth house house or it is seen by moon posited in the fourth house how far away is that moon from the fourth house we'll also be able to check it out 
uh, it is also said in many of uh, classics that fourth, especially BPHS in one of its chapters says that, that fourth from the moon can also tell us a lot about your connect with the masses. So when we talk about, when we talk about Mars in the fourth house, then I have found that people who have Mars in the fourth house, so for that matter in Cancer, they are very work oriented. They would be working uh, very hard in life, but they can be a little irritated. Uh, they can have a personality which can uh, get irritated very fast with others. And they, and a very surprising thing that I found out was that depending on the Deshkal path, these people generally have a plot of land, a house, depending on their social status also, to their credit. So this Mars in fourth house not only makes one, gives one irritation or makes one a little um, frustrated at small things, but gives person money and immovable property also. When we talk about Mercury in the fourth house, Mercury in the fourth house makes you convincing because fourth house is also knowledge. And when you have a Mercury sitting there, it gives you an ability to voice your opinion fearlessly and be very convincing. So you're, you also, fourth house is also those friends, very close friends who end up being like family members. Mercury, we know, are friends also. So it gives you friends who are like family members and make you very convincing in uh, your approach towards others. Similarly, when we have when we talk about Jupiter in the fourth house, this Jupiter in the fourth house gives you a lot of contentment. It makes you um, it makes you happy, and it increases your sense of happiness. Wherever Jupiter sits, it expands. Fourth house is also your home, so probably you will have a big home. Again, the Deshkal Patra factor always comes into account wherever Jupiter sit, it sits, it expands. So it can expand your wealth portion, be it your bank balance, or be it your happiness in life. Both of that can be done. Your love and respect for your elders and your devotion towards your Ishtadevta will also see an increase because let's just not forget that Jupiter gets exalted in the fourth house of the natural zodiac. Again, if it is sitting in its own house, say for example, if Jupiter is sitting in Sagittarius, in such a case, this person will be um, very learned, very educated, but will have a mind which is sharp and have a mind which is not just soft, but has an ability to speak things out. Your ish to Devta, you would be doing things which are more, um, you feel in tandem with what your dharma should be. Again, but dharma is not religion but what you need to do at that time and at that place and you will always take the consent of the of elders around you so again if this jupiter is in the fourth house in aries in such a case this person will be very practical might become a management guru this person can also have an ability to think fast on their feet and can also be good at crisis management and will be able to guide young children better. So depends also on what sign Jupiter is sitting as in the fourth house. When we talk about Venus, uh, Venus, Venus we all know represents vehicle and Venus is also Digbali in the fourth house. So placement of Venus in the fourth house gives you luxuries. Because fourth house is all about your happiness, your portion, bank balance. So yes, you will have a lot of luxuries in life and beautiful cars, big cars, ability to um, uh, to you know feel happy because of spending and money being spent on you and being cared and loved and having a stable and a very deep relationship with females in your family, including your mother, grandmothers, sisters can be seen because Venus, typically in our chart, represents our female relationships. So if a person has Saturn in their 10th, uh, fourth house, fourth house, as we know, is the house of emotion. Saturn, wherever it sits, it uh, does, uh, it does, it does, uh, if I can say for a lack of better word, contain that 
area. So if your emotions can be contained or you cannot be feeling as jubilant and happy as you should be because that can lead to an unhappy childhood as Saturn rules here, as the fourth house talks about your childhood also. It can show uh, the person's need to be reclusive, to live uh, in seclusion. And it can also talk about uh, doing service to family members or your obligation towards your family members. Sat when we talk about Rahu, Rahu in the fourth house uh, talks about your need to put in some time or put in some effort to uh, that house and it can mean that you need to be close to your mother. It can also mean that you need to do some work for your homeland because fourth house is also a homeland. It could mean that it could mean that you need to connect with the masses. You have to have that ability to connect with the masses. And Rahu also represents diseases, foreign particles in our body. So it can give you chest diseases also. And Ketu, as we say, that Ketu is the is is that that shows the end of matter it can show the end of the matter of a planet it as it is aspected by or any other work or or any planet which is moving through it so uh, now let us take a few examples and and see how they work in their chart if I take the case of Louis Vuitton or if I take the case of Emma Watson both have been very known well known and Louis Vuitton uh, has been a very well known figure right from the time that uh, he became the uh, you know one of those uh, luggage makers and his name even years after his uh, death in fact if you go ahead and say more than a century after his death he has remained in people's mind and his brand is something to be reckoned with emma watson became well known at a very young age and still goes around uh, ahead and creates movies which are very enduring to even small children. So here we see people's ability to connect to the masses when moon is in the fourth house becomes very strong. Jupiter in the fourth house, Yehudi Menon, and that too in its own uh, sign of Pisces makes him a very compassionate person, gives him ability to connect to the masses, gives him a spiritual bend of mind, and love for knowledge. Yehudi Melon was said to be one of the best masters that the world ever produced. Louis May Alcott, she has got her son in the fourth house. She never got married. She was a beautiful writer and yet had a fair share of problems with home. She traveled a lot. So when you have sun in the fourth house, it can also give you a traveling uh, nature. It can a lifestyle, it can also give you a nature which has to nourish others, take care of others. And she took care of her father and other family members also. We see uh, when uh, we find that Mars is there on the Lagna. This is a very great, good example of the creators of fiat. Uh, any industry that you can name off in uh, Italy, was these people had their hands in those pies. So it gives you immense real estate, immense amount of wealth, but happiness is something that can be questioned because Mars as a, a malefic sitting in the fourth house can deprive you of familial happiness. Top it all, this Mars is sitting in Rohini Nakshatra and gave him the ability to expand and his real estate, his work up to, uh, and his factories, because factories are also ruled by Mars to a great extent. We have a combination of planets sitting here for Julia Child in the fourth house. And when you look at her, yes, the Sun, Mars, Venus, Mercury, four planets, and Sun gave her an authoritative figure. Sun gave her an ability to travel to many places, including China. She was an American born and raised, but she traveled with her husband to China. Venus gave, gave her luxuries in life. Mars gave her a lot of, uh, Mars gave her a lot of name, fame and application. And it is that Mercury that connected her to masses, gave her a mindset that she could become one of the best uh, 
you know one uh, her uh, shows were one of the best of its time or rather the time changing uh, shows in the television industry on kukri so yes this combination works beautifully for her and pamela anderson has venus in her um in her fourth house and that too in magha nakshatra one of the most well known ladies caring enough for pita voicing her opinion very strongly yet living in the lap of luxury she did not grow in the lap of luxury but she after a certain age she was living in the lap of luxury with good cars with good clothes which are the significations of venus and she also had a great relationship with her mother so this is a final chart where i would be showing you what saturn in the fourth house can do saturn is also knowledge working towards knowledge jack wilson uh, williamson is said to be one of those people who actually changed the world's way of thinking about uh, science fiction and he wrote many a science fiction became very well known for it it gave him hard work but it also gave him seclusion from family members here the saturn sitting in its own nakshatra gives him a reprieve of being loved by many though he did not interact with people on a very uh, great level but sitting in uttara bhadra pad nakshatra it gave him the love and contentment from many a people so planets in the fourth house have the ability to give you a lot of things especially the contentment happiness and your um knowledge and your devotion towards god so if you want to write more about what you have understood and if, uh, do let us know how you found it working in the charts of people around you or in your own chart and please don't forget to like send uh, share and subscribe to us please hit the bell icon for fresh updates don't forget to like share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel